Hey, how you guys doing? My name is Joseph Trust Kong, the new face of art. One dollar per minute for ever. Let's get her done. Painting, canvas, or paint to canvas, dollar a minute for ever. One thousand four forty every day for ever. It's that simple. What's so hard about that? Okay. And this is critic number four, I believe. Or critic is it four. Uh, critic. Critic four. Number four, I believe. I have to double check that. Nice. Very, that's a really nice one, actually. Got that perfect green. Ooh, I hope the middle, I hope the middle turns out good now, because that looks really nice. Sometimes I lose myself. Now this middle has to turn out. Has to, because it's so nice. So nice. Has to turn. red going has to turn up there's no if ands or buts in the situation has to turn up it will it's going to be an epic moment as it will Dead on. Oh, grab that. This is one of those paintings, guys, that is is perfect. It's one of those rare that the metal it's a little light, but that doesn't matter because I don't care as long as it's straight. That's straight. It's one of those rare ones, the ones people want. I better double check the the number and everything in this one. Just a second, I'll be back. Gonna change this one up a little, guys. This is, uh, this is 83 and upload 139. We're gonna talk about Nathan Phillips and Nick Sandman, the native elder, and I've get I wasn't gonna do this, but I was gonna. I've got a lot of people on different channels, so this painting is gonna be for Nathan Phillips and Nick Sandman together. They're gonna be linked on this painting forever. Now. I'm gonna write their names in here. If I can find that. Uh, okay. So, I'm native, I'm treaty status, I'm from Canada, and I've had a lot of people say, What's your take on that? Since you're native, you're one of the probably only native uh, YouTubers out there that. So, people want my opinion. Um. What's my opinion on that? This is number 83. Upload 139. And this is. Have their names written down here. This is owned by 
Nathan. Jointly. I can each give them a painting themselves, but I want uh, this to be linked to them forever. Wherever this goes in history, these guys are linked together on this painting. At one dollar per minute forever. Um, number 83. So this painting's theirs. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna explain little things about my opinion and whatever. So, there forever is their names on this piece of painting. Piece of art forever. Oh, it's smeared a little bit there. Because right there in the corner you see a little, there's a scuff. See? I think, I don't know if that was from, was it something on there? Uh, it's a scuff. Just use my finger to unscuff it. It's not perfect. The world's not perfect. Um. That bugs me. Just a second, I'm gonna pause this and I'm gonna come back and that's gonna be magically, I'm gonna put some on there because I don't want this one to be ruined. Okay, I just added some green there just so, it's a, so that white line is kind of gone. But it's authentication thing in, a, in the future, okay? Right there. Remember, this is a half a million every year, forever. Dollar per minute, 1,440 every single day forever. Now let's get back to Nathan Phillips. The kid wearing a Trump hat. Nothing really to say. They're on one side. The other protester guys on the other side, and I think Nathan uh, just got in the middle of it. Um, in the heat of the moment, how many of you would say things you regret? Now, Buds101 came out that he didn't serve in Vietnam, and then he's got the... And this guy is, and I've been watching Bud101 for a long time, Shipman. And he, he's got a good track record. But on this channel that you are actually watching, uh, how can I explain this? You could go to Social Blade, you could check out the views of this channel and you will see that I got from zero to 58 million views, literally overnight. and. You know what? Let's shut the music off for a second here. Um, the views on this channel went from zero to 58 million views. I had one of the fastest growing channels on YouTube. And you can go into Social Blade, check out Joseph Charles Cullen, and you'll see that, uh, yes, on Social Blade, you'll see the videos views go up to 58 million and just drop to nothing why because I had a all war movie channel on this channel and I was one of the fastest growing channels on YouTube at one time and I shut it all down because of people doing stolen valor in the comment section people saying they're in Vietnam when I had the Vietnam movies up people uh, all every movie you could think of in war movies and some of you probably even know 
what the movies were, and it was Chuck Collins movie clips. Uh, all war movies. That's how I got so big, and I was getting so big and big, and then just the racist comments and the people saying they were in Vietnam and they weren't, people that were saying they were in the Gulf War and they weren't, and other people were calling them out and saying, okay, what battalion, blah, blah, were you with? And they're proving, and, and it just got worse and worse and worse, and it was 20,000 plus comments like that every single day, so I know a little bit about uh, Stolen Valor and stuff like that in a comment, in a comments only, not do I say Nathan Phillips should have said something like that if he wasn't Vietnam and he wasn't Vietnam? Taken from Buds 101. Um, no, but how many people who actually served in the military uh, just to make their story a little bit better? Uh, how many of them, how many of them tell a little bit extra tale, you know? Is it good? Is it bad? It's probably bad. Yeah, it's bad. You shouldn't lie about your service and that. I've never been in the army, so I can't really say anything. Never been in any type of military except air cadets when I was a kid. But the bottom line here is his native elder. He has four years in the service of the American and I could say, even though I'm Canadian, I could say because us treaty status, North American natives in Canada have no borders. I can literally go to the States and live there and work there if I want with my treaty card. I'm one of the only ones that could actually say whether you like it or not. Now... Oh, how can I explain with Nick Sandman? Uh, I predicted Trump was going to get into office. And I caught a lot of flack for this. I predicted Trump was going to get into the White House before it happened. I did it in a video. Uh, put the video in private. You know what? I might regret this. But I'm going to play the video. I'm going to re... You know, I'm going to just tack it onto this. Just a second, guess. Yeah, why not? Yeah, I had this in private, guys, and I took a lot of heat. This was published on YouTube on November 1st, on 2016, a full week before Trump won. And we're talking about when... And I got a lot of threats, got a lot of... Didn't want to bring this up, but I did predict... Um, let's see, do we really want to open this bee's nest again? Um, do I want to really want to reopen this? You know what? I'm just going to play it. I am Warpaint Gamer. As you can see from the Warpaint pictures behind here, uh, you could see that uh, this isn't a gimmick, and I've been doing this a long time. So the Remember paint this you see on my face is not a gimmick for this video. Before Trump, I'm native. I'm from Canada. What do I possibly got to? Do? This is before everybody, even the polls, said that was impossible for him to win. This is, you know, and I got a lot of heat. A lot, thousands of views on this in the original one. So I took it down and re-uploaded. I had it uploaded in three places and I deleted it too and kept this one. But this one is time stamped. It is on YouTube. This one on Warpaint Predictions. A full week before Trump 
became president. And and this has a lot to do with uh, Nick Sandman with his hat. And it has, it's no prediction. I, if you're watching, just watch. Uh, do with the American elections? Absolutely nothing, but I'm North American. Um, I'm a North American native. Some of this is going to sound now, for really many, many years. Really strange. Many but years. It's true. Uh, in Calgary, when I used to live in Calgary, I was homeless and on the street. And I used to go to the library. I used to read books, and I said, I used to read Nostradamus. A Some lot. of this I regret. And I came across a quatrain. This has nothing to do with what I'm about to say and everything. It has nothing to do. Just something has to the part of the story. To the story. To, has to do with my painting. The quatrain was, The year following being discovered by a flood, two chiefs elected to the first shall not hold. To fly from shade, one shall be a refuge. That house shall be plundered, which shall not maintain the first. Or something like that. I can't. Okay. Has nothing to do with Trump. This has to do with me starting a channel, and then the first one didn't work out. And and in my head, what I still believe to the, today is the fir the two chiefs elected the first one that holds is about me starting this art channel. It has nothing to do with Trump. That's what I'm trying to explain. A lot of people thought I was just kind of nuts. Sometimes I even think I'm nuts, but. But that's what that means. The quatrain means my art channel. I predicted back then, before my art channel happened. I can't really remember. I kind of remember it. Uh, I can go read the book and tell you exactly. But I'm just doing everything memory because I don't want to... Remember, this is a week before the elections. I don't want to make it look like this is read from something because it's not now in calgary the flood of the century happened and the house where i used to live and a lot of the things i'm going to say today is to do with flooded seven. out that's why you're seeing this video today in the 27th that's 7 p.m and, and i'm uploading at seven it's i'm doing it around 3 34 right now the original i'm filming this the original one was uploaded on a 27th inner, and then when I got so much hate in that, then I, I re-uploaded it on October, or er, November 1st. Uh, I think the elections was uh, on uh, November 8th of that year, and I got so much. And if I do again, I'm still here. Nothing bad happened. It's no big deal. It's just a prediction. Now, why? Why it took so long? Well, years and years ago, I said to myself, everything to do with the painting, and if you see, uh, you could kind of, I don't know if you could see this. This is a frame that the painting is going to be in. I had a dream, which is back over there in the corner. That this painting was going to be super famous and some people are going to hate it and people are going to love it and people and it became famous and it was worth hundreds of millions of dollars i don't know if that's true we'll see what happens and people were fighting it over it and stuff like that and people are saying in my dreams chuck how do you feel having the most famous painting on the planet and that's okay now I was originally going to do a Trump painting, but how it worked is all these canvas paintings happen instead with nothing to do with Trump. Nothing to do. It just happened. And that's where we are now. It has nothing to do. I was going to do some, but uh, there's so much. I'm not a person that really likes anything to do with politics and everything. It just happened. It just happened. It happened. This video exists. That's all I could say. It happened. I predicted before, and how I even predicted uh, Trump became president. I said, well, uh, it came from somewhere. It came about from something. 
Does that make sense? Doesn't make sense at all. <laughs> Still doesn't How am I going to prove this? Well, I've been proving it to myself for many, many years. The first game I ever went to in my life for a uh, hockey game was the hockey game in, in my city. And I have it right here. Now, out of respect for the hockey people and stuff like that, uh, this is the only game I ever went in my life. It was the Edmonton tickets. versus the Islanders. It's tickets are and it has lucky. sevens all over it. Uh, you ain't going to see it here. It's going to be on the painting. I'm going to record But it has... In my dream, but it says true. the future president will be from this city to the first. And how you're going to know is you're going to... It's hard to explain this. It really is. Uh, it's going to be on a the ticket game between my dream. Edmonton this was years ago. This was like New York Islanders. 2004, something like that. And, and to this day, this is the only game I ever went to. And I got the ticket on January 7th, 2008, at 7 o'clock. My seat was number 7. It was purchased on 17th of December, 07. And this is the ticket. I don't want to show it to you on here. It'll be on the painting. But this exists. Now, that... Now, if you don't understand what I meant there is with these tickets and the Powerball ticket, it all pointed towards something something with a lot of money, a person with a lot of money and from the city. So that's how I, in my head, it was Trump. That's where the president's going to be from and to do with my painting. So it only points to one guy. Now, financially... I had another dream after that, after it's gonna be a long probably video. about a couple of years ago, and and the next clue in my dream where the president would be, it has to be in some kind of financial, kind, some kind of thing, and one reason why I'm showing this uh, before I talk more about Nathan Phillips and Nick Sandman is to show that I have no bias or anything to Nick Sandman about wearing a Trump hat because I'm a native that actually a week before the when all the polls and everybody said it's impossible uh, I predicted how he was going to get in and you're going to see it here and into the White House and it happened and how and uh, that's who's going to point to the win winner. And uh, three things have to happen for it to point point to that winner. Now, remember this is this was the hard part. A couple of years ago, before it that, didn't happen until it didn't happen until. And I'm looking at it right now, till this year. The Powerball. Now, I live in Canada. Billion do you dollar. remember the Powerball? The over billion dollar draw? In that Powerball over billion dollar draw, uh, I had to get a ticket. Somewhere around here. And the numbers on that ticket had, had to... It had to add up to 21. And the reason why it had to add up to 21, because it's the most, the biggest, and it was January 13th, 2016. And it was the biggest Powerball in the world. It's a billion. Uh, 1.5 billion. And how did I get numbers to add up to 21? There's a reason, because it had to add up to 21. Because it had to add up to Trump. Had to add up to his casino. To 21. Blackjack. Now, what's this got to do with a lottery ticket? Well, to prove to you in the world that this lottery ticket had to be on a painting, I had to buy this ticket 
January 16th, or January 13th, 2016. I had to get a friend that was down in the States at the time, get me the ticket, and I said, you know what? I can't do it in my country in on our biggest lottery because the numbers add up to over 21. So the only way you could do it is on a pick one to five and then a Powerball. So the only way you could do it is is one, two, three, four, five, six. It's the only way you could do it. And it represents a billionaire, represents 21. The okay, 21 adds up to his casino and, and it had to be before the election to show that I really think two years before all this happened that Trump was gonna win. That's what this Powerball is and I, I live in Canada and it was hard to get a Powerball in the States and get somebody to get it one, two, three, four, five, six. So it all adds up to 21. It's to prove that that I had the way before that Trump was gonna be president. That's what the that's The Billionaire's all. Casino? Which, too adds much of a stretch? It. His casino. No, because here's the ticket. It's the only way I could the prove ticket it I got. without back then to prove that I think in my dream this is the ticket that's going to be on the painting. Do you see that? I have uh, videos up. Uh, one. If you look at Trillion Chance. To Powerball, one. the fourth winning ticket. You'll see a good clear thing of that. But Trillion this is the Chance ticket. to one a winning. A bot. <laughs> back in January well, that and the reason I got this ticket like this is because I knew in my dream that that ticket has to add up to 21 and I couldn't do it here can't do it to can't. prove it and it had to be on the most famous painting along with this other one I'm not going to show now because that's going to be um, the painting. Trump's on the line Trump's on the phone. <laughs> um, so, I know why I got so much hate. In the future, I believe after you see this video, Trump's going to win by a margin by under 21% of the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, all add up to 21 and now you know I had this idea for a long time. And I think he's going to win. Because my dreams said so. And people were going to be... F and you're watching this on a YouTube channel that seven months ago I said there's no way I could have 7,000 subscribers and I'm about to hit 7,000 subscribers. And I said to myself, if I have a YouTube channel with at least 7,000 subscribers, then I will upload this video. And it had to be by October 27th, because I have another announcement on the 7th of November. That's the next video. So you're going to see no more videos on this channel. I'm going to stop all videos in this channel until that, that day, November 7th. And then the day after, we'll know if this is all right or not. And if Trump wins by 21%. I'm not on Trump's side. I'm not on Hillary's side. I'm nobody's side. I'm just saying that this is through my dreams. I'm native. And dreams mean everything to a native. That might be all just pure luck. That's why I want to call the painting pure luck. That's where all these paintings came so from. So Trump wins this Nothing. ticket. Has 101% nothing to do with Trump or no political views, nothing. I make that clear. I don't want people to think in the future. I just made a prediction and it came true. Trump got in, okay? Uh, that's all it did. Um, whether it was pure luck, I don't know, but just over time, little things said to me, you know what? I think he was going to get in. Like, I had a way even before, you know, that's why I got the lottery ticket and everything, to kind of prove, you know, in a, my own little way. It doesn't make sense now, but 
mounted on my painting with this other ticket will be on this frame and there's a big story behind this frame a big story by the way and uh, I guess it will become one of the most famous paintings on the planet all because of this video and I believe Trump will be next president why don't I look at the camera it's just me I just I don't look at the camera you know, and I get a lot of complaints about that but I'm telling you this ticket Powerball one two three four five six on uh, January 7th when I sell this painting it has to be lucky January 7th 2017 the most luckiest Never painting on the planet with the fourth winning Powerball went in a total not different the direction but congratulations Trump that's all I got to say from a native from Canada let all the trolls and let all the haters come in now because and there was a lot this, this exists this video exists and a story thanks for watching the noble warrior Trump is gonna win by 21 percent and if there's try to any if there's trying to be any kind of political riggings or anything that's gonna destroy that even if they try to win like 10 percent even if they tried to rig it on uh, the political side I think the 21 percent is gonna show that Trump's going to be president. And you're going to find that out in hours from now. It's uh, Mountain's Time, 2 o'clock. And uh, I haven't watched any CN because there's nothing really. It's not. I hit the wrong button. But I'm not going to edit it. Uh, this was uploaded at uh, 2 o'clock on the day of the election. And I explained the tariffs, uh, how I thought. He's going to put tariffs on everything. ...here and there, but they don't really show... And it happens. ...doesn't really show anything. And But I've been following this quatrain, and I think that's what best suits. And... And part of my dreams and everything all kind of coincide with this quatrain. So... Congratulations, Trump! And I guess we'll know within 10 hours. People are out of work. People are losing homes. The financial crisis of the housing market. Uh, the debt ceiling in the United States is getting higher and higher. And you have to stop that or else you're going to have a big economic crash. And everybody knows that's... On horizon and who's gonna do that who's gonna fix that Trump will fix that uh, don't hate don't hate on me just, maybe he's gonna make quick. companies that sell stuff in the United States say listen if you're gonna sell here and make sense if you're gonna sell here you're gonna have to build factories here to sell here and, what's happening or he'll slap right uh, now. tariffs on everything I think that's what's gonna happen and you know and Believe it or not, United States is an economic engine of the world, and it can't this, fail. So you need Trump. This one's November eighth, but and that's I think like the world knows that. It's timestamp. Uh, people can laugh at this, but the fact is, this is before the elections. I'm telling you this. I'm telling you what's going to happen. This is going to happen. And so you need Trump. You need him, and I think the world knows that. Uh, people can laugh at this, but the fact is, this is before the elections. I'm telling you this. I'm telling you what's going to happen. This is going to happen by 21%. And uh, this is some of my war paint, by the way. Just some of it. I just want to. Oh, the van. That's a. Uh,
now closed. Trump's fan. I don't know. That drives him around. I don't even. I don't even know why that's there. But I'm telling well, you, that could be about history right there. I I'm don't telling know. you. Twenty-one percent. What's a white? Trump's going to win, and that's Quatrain. Century nine, number four. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, and I guess we'll know within 10 hours. Let's play this part over again. People are out of work. People are losing homes. The financial crisis of the housing market. Uh, the debt ceiling in the United States is getting higher and higher. And you have to stop that or else you're going to have a big economic crash. And everybody knows that's on horizon. And who's going to do that? Who's going to fix that? Trump will fix that. Uh, maybe he's going to make companies that sell stuff in the United States say, listen, if you're going to sell here, it makes sense. If you're going to sell here, you're going to have to build factories here to sell here. and Or he'll slap... Uh, tariffs on everything. I think that's what's going to happen. And, you know, and believe it or not, United States is an economic engine of the world and it can't fail. So, am I going to regret showing you all that? I said, why to link it to this painting? That's for Nathan Phillips and Nick Sandman. Um, I'm a nobody's side, not Trump's side, nobody's side. Uh, Nathan Phillips is an elder. Respect him. Um, it happened. What can you do about it? There's nothing you can do about it. Nick Sandman, he's a young guy. He's forever going to be known as six, er, Nick Sandman as this young kid. Blah, blah, blah staring down the native elder and in the end I don't think it was even bad it didn't even look like he was just like deer caught in the headlights he didn't know what to do he just stood as stood there um, a lot of Millennials a lot of kids in this day I don't know if he's even a millennial what's he uh, year 2000 I don't know. Um, the US shutdown Let's open a whole can of worms here. The U.S. shutdown. I don't see it as a shutdown on the wall. I see it as a shutdown. Uh, trying to save money because there's something seriously, something's going to happen. I think because in order to pay debt down and to borrow money, uh, I think it's getting bad enough where they have to shut the government down. <sighs> That's a whole can of worms. Up north, near my reserve, for thousands of years where the permafrost never thawed, is thawing. Trees are falling over uh, that are solid in the ground for th probably a th hundreds and hundreds of years. If you don't believe in global warming, listen to a treaty status nave that sees the thawed ground up north happening. That's never happened thousands of years. So let's put this hole. Thing. Remember, if there is an economic collapse, if the currencies of the world get fixed somehow, a new American, North American currency or something happens, remember, you could buy my painting in the future at any, not just the dollar, Canadian dollar, any currency at the dollar rate at the time. Um, it's set by the dollar 
it doesn't matter if if the whole world goes to trading rocks or just trading gold or just uh, because there is no dollar bills left in the world just say it goes from the very first day the very first painting that at uh, the dollar value that day so forever it's frozen the dollar is frozen on frozen on that day July to I think it's 21st the very first canvas painting it's frozen at that dollar rate somebody left a comment uh, meat salad left a comment uh, last week or it was two weeks ago saying what happens if there ever uh, ec dollar collapse or anything what's your painting it's it's frozen at the dollar rate forever the way I see it even if the dollar's worthless in the future if something really bad happens it's these a dollar rate from that day for ever um, that's including the current dollar rate by the way it works both ways that's how I'm protecting the pricing on here this video so I'm a native Nathan Phillips Nick Sandman you own this painting jointly forever you own this painting when this is in the gallery wherever in the future sold either somebody will have it in care of a uh, museum or whatever if it's ever sold or somewhere it's sold you jointly will get the split from this painting if it sells for a million you get five hundred thousand each sells for two million get a million each uh, at a year it's a million Ten years, it's five million, so on. So this painting is powerful. You guys are stuck together forever. Um, Nick Simon, you got a long life ahead of you, so you probably need the money in the future. We don't know. I don't know where my art's going. I have a lot of people interested. A lot of people. A lot of controversy in the pricing and everything. Uh. Nathan Phillips doesn't matter he served his country he should respect him rather whether he says he's in Vietnam or not um, how many of you served how many of you think bad of the guy just because he said oh I was in Nam I don't see it it's just tall tale come on guys it's just tall tales whether it's bad or whatever uh, it's gonna probably a lot of people are gonna hate on me on this, but and Nick Salmon, he's just a kid, stood his ground. That's it. Wore a Trump hat. It's a free country. You can do whatever the hell you want. Um, Canada's a free country. You can do whatever the hell you want, including talk about your politics and everything over there. Cause I'm treaty status. North America's my home the way I see it and I'm gonna catch a lot of hate from that too probably because it's true I don't have no borders I could almost say I I have land all the way to Mexico I don't know but Nathan Phillips Nick Zaman you own this painting jointly and how am I going to get it to you guys somehow? We'll figure it out in the future. Maybe it'll be care of me until, until it's sold someday. So the story ain't over until this painting sold. And remember, it's firm at a dollar per minute forever. Right now, it's, this video is at 44 minutes. So this is $44 as of right now. It's a thousand four forty every single day forever to the end of time. Thousand years, it's five hundred million. Two thousand years, it's a hundred, or it's, it's a billion. This painting will hit a billion dollars one day. 
long after I'm gone or the image of it if you watch uh, past videos when this totally disintegrates into nothing or, or it burns up or it's stolen it just disappears the image on this channel the image of this shall be the original best copy possible in the future be it a thousand years from now ten thousand years from now twenty thousand years from now it should last forever maybe this image will be in a new colony in another planet somewhere who knows we don't know you don't know I don't know this is just today that you're watching this video so owned by Nathan Phillips and Nick Sandman jointly because you do from an artist Joseph Strauss Collin oh I'm gonna regret this video because I got so much hate before that's why I put this stuff on private and I don't I don't even really care about it but I just want to prove a point that I'm not biased to Nick because he has this has a Trump hat on because I actually predicted Trump getting into power Nathan Phillips is obvious I'm native I respect him no matter what who he is he's an elder He's lived on this planet way longer than most of you. Respect that. Um, my whole life there's been racism. There's whole my whole life, I've dealt with it. My whole life, I, you know, a lot of you look at, maybe I don't know, maybe look at natives like we're a bunch of drunks, we're a bunch of. Uh, you know where we don't look like pretty people kind of thing and over time it gets to you that's why I have my YouTube videos so I have war paint on to show that this native who has a job for 20 years same job in that job and you can confirm that uh, don't drink and 30 years don't smoke my whole life never did any type of drug ever in my life except for the green painting if you look back if you look at the painting that's all green you'll understand what I'm talking about it's the world's first by the way with that medium on the painting first in the world it's another first not just on this channel I'm 50 years old, guys. Going on 51, coming up. I've seen a lot in my lifetime. I've seen a lot. Been through a lot. All me and you and the world just want to have a decent life. We just want to play our video games, watch our TV, eat good, and have a half decent life. And there's a lot of people in this world that if you're if you're watching this video, you are lucky to be in that world because you're not the one percent of the rich people, probably the top five percent of the people in the world, because they're all the rest are really dirt poor and they can't be sitting in a nice comfortable little chair watching this video on a iPad or your phone it's simple you're lucky to be watching this video that means you're in the top 5% of the world and if you have opinion on Nathan Phillips and Nick Sandman, it's all, it's 100% your opinion. 100% you're allowed to. 
Doesn't matter where you are in the free world. But if we don't stop the permafrost and stop this global warming, we're in deep trouble. It's real. Has to be done, guys. And all this crap, this Nathan Phillips and Nick Sam and all the other news in the world don't mean nothing if we can't live on this planet. I'm kind of comfortable right now living on this planet. Let's keep it up. Let's fix the world, guys. What else can I say? What else can I possibly say? That's it. A lot of rambling. A lot of whatever. But the fact is, this painting exists. One dollar per minute. For ever. Owned by these two people. And, I'm the f and you're witnessing a painting. First of its kind in the world. Well, it's number 83, it's a long time. You know what? I'm trying to push this to one hour, by the way. If you haven't, if you couldn't tell, because we're at 52 minutes, but you know what? I think I'm just going to call it a day. Nathan Phillips, if you happen to be watching this, you own a painting with Nick, and... I hope one day this painting sells and then the world could see you to become rich. So that's the whole idea. Blessed with money. The world's not, money doesn't make people happy or, or money, you don't know. Money is a tool. That's it. Money makes your life go a little easier. And if I sell all my paintings in the millions of dollars, then I'll be very happy in my life. And a lot of people connected to my paintings, their life will be a little easier. And then collectors and galleries and people that own my paintings in the future, uh, they will get something unique they've never seen before simple first of its kind first type of medium on canvas never been done before if you stuck to the very end thank you guys thank you thank you so much and like I said I'm probably gonna watch this video I'm gonna regret it but you know what it's not the first time it's definitely not going to be the last time. But the fact in the end is they own a painting. And you can like them or not like them or like one and not the other. But the fact is this painting exists. It's on this video and they own it. And there's not one person in the world can do anything about it. Except buy it and make them extremely wealthy in the future until that day it goes up a dollar per minute forever half a million a year forever it's real I'm the artist it's the first in the world that's ever been done like every one of my other paintings they go up a dollar a minute the first ones are hitting in July 
at a million dollars in July, and it's never going to stop. So news organizations take note because it's not just this video you're watching. You're going to watch my whole story in the future unfold on on your news. This war painted Joseph Charles Cullen, the new face of art. Congratulations, Nathan and Nick. Nathan's on this side. Nick's on this side. And that's Trump. Trump. I don't know what that is. That's this guy. That's me. That's me. Nathan. Nick. And Trump. Trump's hat. Okay. It's Trump. I am so tired. <laughs> I was just rambling, guys. Just wow, fifty six minutes. Let's make this an hour. What the hell? Why not? Let's make this an hour. It's only four more minutes. Can you hang on? Who knows who's watching this video in the future? If you watch this to the very end, you're probably either shaking your head, but it's a freedom speech. I am allowed to say in North America, whatever the hell I want. It has nothing to do with Trump. Just showing that I'm not biased to Nick when I made a prediction about Trump. So, that's my whole thought on that. Uh, what else? What else can I possibly say? The painting is right here. It's beautiful. Beautiful painting, guys. Perfect. Can't wait till I have this reframed. Number 83, upload 139. On by Nathan. Title's going to be a little long on this. I'm going to have to redo the title. I don't know. But I'm a tree status native, and I could. This is my take on the Nathan Phillips thing. Uh, and a lot of. Maybe this is not what some people want me to respond, how to respond. But. We're in a sliver of time. We're in the Trump era. And either. I really think. Trump's going to get a second term. I really think I'll predict that right now. He's going to get a second term. End of story. Um, I really think so. People say, oh, no, it's not going to happen because he's getting impeached or whatever, but I don't think that's going to happen. I don't. I think other people screwed up. I think he's a smart enough, enough man to stay out of that kind of trouble. 59 minutes, $59, this painting. Tomorrow it's 1440 At noon, every single day, till the end of time, from the day you've seen this video, forever, this goes up. Only paintings in the world that do that. There's this war-painted face on canvas. Congratulations, you stayed here for an hour. <laughs> I can't believe I stayed here for an hour. That's it, guys. Right at 60 minutes, we're done. Five seconds.
$1 per second. Uh, first billionaire buys.